Can mental illness normalize harmful actions? Straightforward answer to this question is yes. But when we delve a bit deeper and we actually have a look at the mechanism that actually runs the operation, then what we have to realize is that we're just stuck in a continual loop. And that continual loop has been there for quite some time. And because that loop has been there for quite some time, it's actually in fact caused the mental illness in the first place. And then we get into the fact that there's just a perpetual cycle that's consistently playing out that then has to run true to itself over time. And then by definition, these harmful actions in effect are just the continuation of the cycle. And then we just find strategies and coping mechanisms just to deal with these and then continue them as if they then are normal. So when we look at it from the fact of the normalization process, we then have to go back to the root of the problem. And that root of that problem is actually the conditioning and the behaviors and the patterning that we were then subjected to in the first place that then created the disharmony or the misalignment. And that misalignment and disharmony in the individual themselves then led to long inconsistent patterns that then meant because that person was so out of alignment for so long that it then became predictable and therefore it became the mental illness in the first place. So most mental illnesses themselves, they don't just get passed down through generation and generation. They literally end up as environments or circumstances with which multiple generations are actually subjected to. And then because they're subjected to the same patterning or the same behavioral patterns, i.e. inconsistent male role models or inconsistent female role models in their life, then what happens is generation by generation, somebody has to then be subject to the same problematic circumstance and scenario. And then what happens is when they go out into the wider world, they attract people and circumstances, be it in the sort of career path, or be it in personal relationships, that then have to mirror those inconsistencies back for people then to heal and then work through. So when we have a look at mental illness, you don't just develop it overnight. You don't just get to the point where you are in a position of going through the motions and you stub your toe on some kind of cornerstone or some table or some door frame, and then all of a sudden you just get a mental illness. It's like, it just doesn't work that way. So we have to go back to the root cause and where it originates from. And then we have to work out the fact that we are in a perpetual loop and a cycle. Then once we get into that perpetual loop and cycle, we need to get back to the root cause of that cycle and then work out exactly why it's playing out that way. Because ultimately there is a part of ourselves that kind of disassociated or disconnected. And therefore the mental illness is just showing us that there's a distinct lack of alignment in how we think, how we behave and how we show up in the world. And then when we look at it from this angle, we can start to get back to helping those with mental health issues. And then we can become more aware and we can bring that awareness with us in order to manage and deal with these conditions rather than being circumstantial and playing the victim within those circumstances. So if you have any experiences yourself, if you have any specific problems, or if you're kind of not sure where to go, you're feeling disassociated, you're feeling disconnected, you're feeling a bit lost, then do drop a comment in the section below and then we can have a look and see if there's any patterning and behavior that may be consistent with your circumstances, your background, and then maybe we can get you some information or guidelines that you can then start exploring and then once you start that exploration process itself you can then start getting out of those patterns of behavior but as always until next time trust the process and it's bye for now